Hey everyone, this is Sam. I'm here with Brandon. Hey. We're playing Animal Crossing New Leaf, and we uh, just we're about to take a mind-bending adventure to a town called Nintendo. The town official Nintendo town in the Dream Suite that they just tweeted out today. That's right. So it's not only a town called Nintendo, but it's filled with Nintendo ephemera, and it's really amazing. They uh, went all out with this town. It's like it has, you know, you can tell you someone. just you won't believe it. We're about to go there, and here we are. So I think one of the thing that's funny about this town is that they just drop stuff everywhere. There's yeah, gyroids and fossils there's... everywhere just for decoration, which is like really clever. You ain't going to get a proper town rating that way. Yeah, you, you definitely know with all the trash everywhere, but it just actually makes it look really cool having like gyroids mm -hmm. just thrown on the ground. So and... but before we get into how cool this town is, it's just sidewalks and bushes for now, but how do you get to the Dream Suite? So once you've been mayor for seven days, um, you can talk to Isabel, and she'll be asleep, and you ask her... And say, hey, do you want to build a dream suite? And then that's available for a public work project. Mm -hmm. So just play for seven days. This will unlock. Yeah. So and after that, you can actually get codes from Twitter or from IGN, or we have a bunch in our wiki, and uh, you can go to all these places uh, that people have built in their towns. But you can't bring anything back with you. You can't affect anything except for textures. You can bring those back. But you can't bring back any equipment or anything. It's not like the Happy Home Showcase. Yeah, only if the, the person who uploads the town allows texture to be brought back. There's an option for that. Okay. So what you did here was uh, grab uh, from Isabel's Twitter account uh, the official Nintendo Town address, and here it is. So there's some really cool stuff here. You can see some public works that I've never even seen before, like that moth, that yeah. rock garden there. And, and uh, some, of, some of the villagers are here. Now this is whoever made the town has a house as Luigi and a house as Mario. So there's yeah. two people that are playing it. And they're both named Nintendo, or yeah. ironically. You can see they've had a perfect town because they had the Jacob's Ladder uh, flowers there for a they while. They have a lot. And there's also Big Bro's hat and Big, Big Bro's shirt. Some coins and Those then these the mushrooms. They're actually called it's famous mushroom. Thing. Eat it. Ready? Oh, it's so cool. I just wish you stayed lot. big for longer. Yeah, I know. So mushrooms are interesting. You can get them to grow in your town uh, two ways. One is by playing in the fall. They grow everywhere. But two is by having a perfect uh, stump. There's a bunch of different stumps. If you just cut a tree in half, sometimes there's a little butterfly or a heart on your tree stump, and a mushroom appears there all the time. I have one in my town. I get mushrooms like every couple days, and I've gotten really? that mushroom in my town. Yeah. Well, that was Mario's house, and he has a pretty uh, depressing house compared to Luigi's mansion. Yeah, so Mario's house is filled with Nintendo items from fortune cookies, essentially. Yeah. You can also get these little standout designs, too, from Wendell, who's over there, and you'll see them later, and we'll look through all the uh, different patterns. Now, look at this. There's a little, uh, like, a fountain volcano It's a geyser. Thing. It shoots a geyser? out. Oh, I mm -hmm. want one of those in my town so bad. So this is Luigi's house, and he actually... The this main is your floor, favorite part of this yeah, whole, whole town. It looks like his mansion. It's got the, the vacuum suck yeah. over there, poltergeist. There's a doghouse for the ghost dog. Right. My favorite thing is the sectional sofa there. It's so mod. I didn't so even mod. know they had those. Yeah, it's really cool. And a nice flacati rug there. Maybe it's supposed to be a bear rug, I guess. Yeah, I think the, the Hypno KK music playing. And look really at the lantern up in the adds. corner. That's really oh, yeah. cool, too. Gas and there's lantern. the uh, the coat rack from the game. You can suck out the Yeah, very clever. Uh, they, you wouldn't think Luigi would want to live in that mansion. That's true. This kind of creeps me out here. There's a mannequin with Peach's parasol, her <laughs> shoes, and her crown. No um, other clothes. No other clothes. Naked Luigi, Peach confirmed. What are you doing? And we got Reggie and... Uh, Miyamoto you can also get these the designs walls. too when you bring them back by talking right. to Wendell. So you can actually bring these home with you, the designs, and we'll and talk about really that. And these really cool art gallery up on the top floor. Yeah. Now, yeah. actually, these frames you can buy these frames once you unlock the museum shop. So, so uh, after playing the game for I think it's like two weeks, uh, the owl asks you to expand the museum, and then you can buy the, the, actually those couches there. That's the museum sitting area couches so you can buy from the shop. Section up there. Yeah, and then you can buy those frames. You can put your own stuff. That's a, that, th those right there are gold roses, which you can only get by having black roses and then letting them wither and watering them with the gold watering can. You can tell they spent a lot of time making this place. And so Wendell, you'll uh, recognize from earlier Animal Crossings, you could give him like fish and stuff, and he gave you designs. Now, He's wandering around Dream Suite levels, Yeah, if, you, if the person who uploaded allows access to designs, you can talk to him. And he will offer you to give you all the designs that that player has created. So then you have to make space in your own design inventory. And so you got here the pro designs for like the standouts. You have um, what's down here like Lloyd, and as well as Zelda from Skyward Sword, her outfit. That's cool. Princess Peach's outfit. A cool uh, DJ KKT. And then there's also the second page with another uh, the Mabel thing you saw in the house. There's also Daisy, which is pretty, it's pretty hmm. surprising. Um, as well as you can see in the corner, Miyamoto is available. You can take him as well. And then on the last page, you get um, Reggie, and as well as the stone tile, which is pretty neat if you want to make a pathway in your town. Yeah, so you might have noticed there's pathways among the bushes in town that you can uh, create. Um, 
So this is pretty much the, the end of our look at this amazing Nintendo town. But uh, if you want to check out more about this, we wrote it all up and stuff in uh, Big Animal Crossing Wiki and IGN. So uh, thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for showing us this town, Brennan.